Hi and uh, welcome. In this uh, video I want to show you how you can create a uh, Docker image from a running container. Uh, this comes in very helpful when you are running a Docker container and you're making changes to that running container because maybe you do not know yet what kind of changes you want to implement and how it will work. Um, and then if you have a running container that you have applied the changes to, it is very helpful that you can just create a new Docker image from it. In this video, I'll show you how you can do that. So stay tuned. I have uh, switched over to my Ubuntu instance and I am in my terminal. So let's take a look at how we will set this demo up. Um, I have created a Docker file here that we'll take a look at and for this demonstration we'll just use an Nginx Docker image. It is the easiest and simplest to run um, a simple a static HTML page, which I will use for this demo. So let's take a look at the Docker file. And if we take a look at it, all I'm doing here is I'm just getting the Nginx image, the latest version of it, and I am copying my index file that I have here into the appropriate directory out of which Nginx is serving a static HTML page, which is user share Nginx HTML and then you give it the index HTML in our case here. So that's all we'll do here. Let's take a look at the index HTML. And there's nothing fancy going on here either. We set a title of TDC image demo and we'll just have in a body a hello. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. So let's go ahead and build this image. To build our image, we run a simple Docker build and we will tag it as engine x demo version 1.0 no 1.0 okay so that's all we'll go ahead and do uh, let's take a look if our image has been built perfect there's our engine x demo version 1.0 and we're good to go so let me clear my screen. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run this uh, image here. So what we want to do is docker run. We'll run it in interactive mode. We want to remove it once the container stops. Um, we need to uh, expose port 80 on port 8080. Um, let's give it a name to, and let's call it just my server. And I think this is all that we will need. And we'll run our engine x demo version 1.0. Let's run it. Our server has started successfully, as we can see here. And let's head on over to a web browser. I'm using Firefox. You can use whatever browser you would like. And we'll go over to localhost port 8080. And let's see. And here's my static web page being served, called or just a printing out hello TDC image demo. Fantastic. Now I can show you how we can actually change this in this running image or in this running container and then create a new image from this. So to do this, let's go ahead and switch back to our terminal. I will open a second terminal window. Now, um, just making sure that we're still in the correct directory, which I knew we were, but checking never hurts. Um, so here we'll see I have a file called new index HTML. So let's take a look at that file real quick. And I'll admit what I've done here is, is I just went to the Bootstrap web page and I just copied the um, starter HTML page to make it easy and save some time. Um, for demonstration purposes, this is completely sufficient. Um, but this also should show and demonstrate uh, what you actually can do with Nginx. So there's quite a few things. Nonetheless, um, so this is the um, new index 
uh, HTML file that I have. And now let's say we want to use our running container and we want to actually display this um, as our index HTML rather than our boring hello. So let's see how we can do this. Um, the way we will do this is we just do a... Uh, let me clear my screen first. Let's go ahead and actually run a Docker PS so we can see what we have running right now. And now to copy this new index.html into our running container, what we need to do is we run a Docker CP for copy. We tell it what file to copy, which is our new index.html. And then we need to give it either the uh, running container or the container, the target that we want to copy into, the ID or the name. In my case, I will just use the name. So my server, and then we do a colon, and then we need to tell it um, where to actually copy uh, or the directory we want to copy this file to. So in our case, it is user share nginx html and then we tell it we want to copy it into index html so what we want to do here is we're going to take our new index html file we want to copy it into my server container um, and then we want to copy it in that container into user share nginx html and we want to copy it into the index html so let's hit enter and we didn't get an error, so we can safely assume this executed correctly, but let's verify. So if I'm going back to my web browser and I am just refreshing this page, look there, hello world, nicely formatted. So this is now using our bootstrap um, template that we have copied over. If we're going back to the terminal, so how do I now go ahead and actually create a new image from it? So let's take care of that next. To create our new image from the currently running image in which we have copied our new HTML file, we'll just run a docker commit. Now we need to give it either the name or the container ID. In my case, again, I use the uh, name, so my server, and I want to create a new image, and I will call this new image. So no flags that we need to put in here. We just give it the image name that we want to create. Um, and I will call it Nginx Demo Modified. Okay, engine X demo modified, and then we'll just say version 1.0. Let me hit enter, and it gives us the SHA of the newly committed image. So if we're now doing a Docker images, if we run this, you will see here I have my engine X demo. This is the original that's currently running, and then I have my engine X demo modified. Okay. So now we have our two images. We can go back here. You can see it's still running. Let's do a refresh here. And you see it still has our change in it. So what we would want to do, if anything, we need to stop the container and restart it. Um, and that would then actually solve that problem. So if I'm just stopping it here, and I'm just doing the up error, and I'm running again my Nginx demo, I'm running this again. I'm going back to my web browser and you see we're back to our old image. And now to go ahead. So if I'm now running uh, my new image, which is the Nginx demo modified version 1.0, and I'm running this, it's starting our Docker container. We can also double check over here. Docker PS, here is my Nginx demo modified, the image of the container is running. If I'm now going back to my web browser and I refresh, I see that I have my nicely um, formatted hello world text displayed, which shows me this is our new image that we have created. 
So this is actually all there is to it to get you started on creating um, Docker images from a running Docker image. So if I'm going back to Docker images, you see here again, I have now two completely separate um, Docker images that I can run. And I've created this one, the top one, the demo modified from our running Nginx demo. This is it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. I do appreciate the time that you took to watch the video. Um, give it a like if you liked it. And uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.